Okay. What's the problem? Blowout. Tire on the air. Yeah, tire on the airstream just blew out. The day of your first tire blowout will start like any other day. What do I say before we get on the road every time? Onward, walkabout production group. That's right. Onward, walkabout production group. But that's the thing about blowouts. You never expect them. You'll be riding along, just enjoying your day, then boom. Uh-oh. A tire bursts and then rapidly loses pressure. Your best response to a blowout is counterintuitive. You should actually step on the accelerator for a moment to stabilize your rig's momentum. Once safely on the side of the road, you can inspect the damage. In our case, both the trim and undercarriage of our Airstream received a Mickey Rourke facial. This is one obvious reason you want to get off the road as soon as you can safely after suffering a tire blowout. Flapping bits of steel belted radial have been known to do all sorts of nasty damage to RVs. The aluminum skin of an Airstream is especially vulnerable. In our case, we were pretty lucky. But Airstreams and trucks are easily replaceable. People are not. Our first priority is always safety. Although we've managed to successfully maneuver our rig to the side of the road, it's left me feeling somewhere between the hammer and the anvil. Uh, it's just not a good situation. I mean, we're on the interstate. You know, we pulled over to the emergency lane on the right side of the road. You know, traffic's going past us at 75, 80 miles an hour. There lies the rub. We're fortunate that our blown tire is on the passenger side of our Airstream. Call me crazy, but I'm not too keen about the idea of changing a tire while lying on the interstate. In the United States, every year about 5,000 pedestrians die when they're struck by passing traffic. Your goal is to avoid joining that number. Here we have some different options. Since our Airstream is a twin axle unit, we could conceivably remove the blown tire and rim and just run our Airstream on three tires. But we're carrying a full-size spare. It's tucked away beneath our Airstream in a very special place next to the sewer hose. So we pick up the phone. If you're already paying for a road service club like Good Sam Club or AAA Plus, don't hesitate to use it. Our back passenger side tire on the camper has completely shredded and come apart. Next, get away from the road. Never assume competence on the part of your fellow drivers. If someone screws up and slams a big rig into our silver bullet, I'll watch the fireworks from a safe distance. While waiting for the tire tech, let's play the blame game. A tire blowout can be caused by any number of things. Overinflation, underinflation, and maybe overloading your RV. But in our case, tire pressures were well within proper specs. And our Airstream was carrying its usual load. It's possible that we encountered a road hazard. It's also possible that we had a defective tire. If you browse internet reviews of the Goodyear Marathon tire, you'll probably encounter the word crap. Some people claim these tires are wonderful. Others say, yes, they're wonderful all right, until one day they fall completely apart at high speed for no apparent reason. In other words, even if you have brand new, properly inflated tires, you too may suffer a blowout. What about jacking up the camper? There's one thing about Airstreams, you have to... It's not a bad idea to consult the trusty owner's manual 
and reference the factory recommended jack points. Improper jacking of an Airstream or other travel trailer can just make a bad situation worse, resulting in frame damage or axle damage. It's actually possible to change a trailer tire without using a metal jack at all. Instead, you can use a ramp. The most popular is called the Trailer Aid, and it's basically a custom ramp in an appealing shade of banana. You only need to buy one of these ramps. You simply drive the good tire up onto the ramp and that will lift the bad tire off the ground. If you want to use the poor man's trailer aid, just pull your trailer up onto some wooden blocks. Once you've got your wheel lifted, the rest of the tire change is pretty straightforward. You can expect loads of fun getting that spare tire from beneath your trailer. But soon enough, your rig will boast a mismatched pair of shoes. Murphy's Law teaches us anything that can go wrong will go wrong. If you do any significant RV travel, sooner or later, you too will find yourself in this situation. So the best you can do is expect it, prepare for it, and when it happens, laugh about it. I'll feel better once we're parked for the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we made it about 50 miles today, right. if that. Available on DVD. It's time once again to say, onward, Walkabout Production Group. <laughs>